everybody, welcome back to a new video. This time we're looking at ATER because ATER is up 8% in the past day and this is a really good sign for more than one reason. One thing that I've been speaking about with ATER in the past five days and actually in the past month uh, since about the 11th of October realistically, I've been speaking about this potential for a trend change coming. Now realistically, we've been seeing this decline for a long time, then we had that consolidation period. I was talking about the fact that I believed it was only a matter of time until we saw that breakout and again it has taken a while to come and whether this is it or not is unclear but we could definitely be seeing the early signs of a bullish trend forming for ATER so what I want to do in this video is talk about why I believe that I want to look at the indicators and look at where we could be going next with this stock if it sounds good make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe but as always the usual applies this is not financial advice I am not a financial advisor consult a professional if you want financial advice and be aware of the risk as ATER is a fairly risky stock in my opinion and the same from yesterday applies. I still feel a little bit ill, guys, so please do bear with me in this video. And on top of that, I just want to speak about a new campaign that we have here on the channel. If you look below the title of this video, you will see a fundraiser. We are trying to raise some funds for the children this Christmas. Basically, we have a Save the Children fund, I believe it is. And again, if you guys can donate a small amount to help the children, it would be massively appreciated. It's something that we are trying to do, again, to just spread a bit of positivity going forwards into Christmas. The deadline of this will be the 24th of December, so we have a lot of time to raise the funds to hopefully help a lot of kids. But yeah, now we're going to jump into the video and look at ATER and just look at this one, starting off on the simple charts, because uh, as I said, we can see the trend very, very clearly now on the past month. This is very clear. You'll see that we hit highs in the past month, well above 15, and ever since we've been declining, you'll see that we hit absolute bottoms, I would say down here, at $8. This was back on the 11th of October. Now, this was the start of our potential uh, end for our bearish trend, and from there we had this consolidation. So, bearish trend came to an end, tick, consolidation period, tick, and then of course from there we were looking to see where the next break would be. Will it be a break down as people lose interest in the stock, or will it be a break upwards as we have that potential trend change that we have been looking for for a while? And like I have said, guys, it's very early days in my opinion, but we are seeing relatively high volume, which is a good sign. Uh, we are seeing, of course, the share price increase, so good things could be coming. And I want to talk about this and give my opinions on this one at the end. So what we're going to be doing is we look at the technicals uh, first, and then I'll give a few of my opinions at the end. So you guys know the score. We're doing the one day, five day, and then the one month on the technicals. You'll see on the one day, uh, so far, by the way, I must state, we are not at the end of day. We have about two hours or so to go. And the reason why I'm filming earlier is because I want to try to fit more videos in. The earlier I start, the later I can finish, and the more content we can get published, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so far, we're seeing a moving average figure down here of 806, sorry, 906, I believe it is. Uh, so it's a little bit higher than where we are right now. And again, this is going to be a little bit behind. It usually is, but we're not too far off it, which is fine. Now, the RSI for this period is at 46, and the trend on the MACD is becoming bearish. We're crossing below this line. The lines here are crossing over, and again, this is forming a bearish trend. Now, as I always say, unless you are day trading the stock, which I personally am not, I don't think the one-day data look, uh, bears too much relevance. I somewhat believe this for the five-day, but I will still read it for you guys anyway. We're looking at the uh, with the moving average at 874, which is below where we are. This is because of the push that we have had up. It's not had the opportunity to catch up yet. It's going to take a bit of a while because it is a lagging indicator, but we're not too far off it, which is okay. The RSI has cooled off now. We hit 80 for a while over here, but yeah, now we cooled off. We're coming back down to 53, which is ideal. 50 is neutral, so three points away is nothing to worry about. The trend on the MACD is becoming bearish. The lines are crossing over to the downside to be honest with you uh, we were insanely bullish earlier this morning but the reason why we're coming down on that trend is because of course we had highs up here and we've been declining since Again, it's only the five-day data, so it's not the most inclusive. It is potentially useful if you're looking to A, day trade, or B, swing trade. But even for a swing trade, what I personally like to look at, in my opinion, which again is not financial advice, but for my strategy, what I like to do is I like to look out to the one-month data. And this gives us a bit of a clearer picture. It shows us what is going on with ATER in general, and it just helps us to formulate a more inclusive view as to what is going on with the stock. 
So, uh, on the moving average for this period, we're on 824, so we're a little bit below where we are right now. Well, that's not too big of a deal, honestly. Again, this is a 50-day MA. It tracks the past 50 days. It's always going to be out for the most part, and it usually is with any stock, especially when we have some movement upwards. Now, for the past uh, five or so days, we have actually been online with that 50-day MA because of this consolidation that we've noticed. Uh, but yeah, that is changing now. Now, the RSI in this time period is coming up to 50 now. It's at 49, but it is coming back up. This is ideal once more. We want this one to be uh, as neutral as possible, and one point away from neutral is pretty good going, in my opinion. Now, where things get interesting is down here on the MACD. Now, this is something that I have spoken about the potential for in our last video, and I want to speak about it again here. We've seen this trend kind of change on the MACD, if you notice. We had these red candles creep in over time, but now we're seeing a few green candles. Now, in the past two or three days, the green candles are not becoming more intense. What we are looking for on the MACD is a break to the upside, a green candle, which comes above this center line, because that would really be a very... Uh, early indication of a bullish trend but this is somewhat bullish with the green candles forming in the first instance anyway now we're looking for this crossover and to bring us into the positive territory when it comes to the macd and seeing that line in the green that would be ideal and that was where and that would be where i would like to see us going forwards into tomorrow and the rest of the week now Another thing that I think is important to highlight for today is volume figures, because volume figure today, 18.51 million. Now, don't get me wrong, guys, it's not particularly special. We'll just get rid of the pen. Yeah, it's not particularly special. We have seen better in the past. Uh, for instance, if we look back to here, if it will allow me to, I will have to remove the pen first. But if we look back to the high areas of volume, we were significantly better off than where we are right now. For instance, our volume back here, uh, for example, was up at 83 million. Back here, we were sat on, if it will let me show you the figure. So back here, we were sat on about 90 plus million. And again, right now, we're seeing only 20 million relatively. Uh, but looking at where we were yesterday, it was significantly lower than that. So I'll bring up the figure for yesterday. You'll see that the figure was only 10 million and the prior day, uh, it was, uh, sorry, yesterday was 6 million and the prior day was only 10 million. So volume has been drastically reduced, but right now we are seeing sort of double, if not triple the average volume, which is a good sign. Again, it's not necessarily as high as we would want it to be. But volume coming back into the stock is definitely a good sign. It's putting us in a much better position. And it's putting us in a position where we are primed for more growth, in my opinion, going forwards. And again, a 10% gain on ATER. I think this will also have the positive effect of getting people looking at the stock, getting people thinking about it, and potentially getting more people wanting to buy uh, this stock that haven't really done so before. So I'm really, I'm really, really happy with where we are with ATER. What am I expecting going forwards into the rest of the week? Well, my opinions on this one are simple. What I'm looking for is a bit more growth. Like I said, uh, today it has been a good day. It's an early sign of a bullish trend. But really what I want to see is I want to see this growth continue. What we do not want to see is just one green day like what we had, for instance, back here. We want to see this day actually mean something. And see, even if it's small candles upwards, we want to see more upwards momentum going forwards into the rest of the week. Because that really would be a very early sign of a bullish trend. And again, we are already starting to form that right now. But we just need a few more days bullish data to back this one up in my opinion when it comes to a simple trend on the share price so would i buy this stock right now i think this one ultimately depends on your risk tolerance now usually i would say no because i do like to go for quite a uh, risk-free strategy or quite a low risk strategy but again if you guys are willing to take that high risk it put it absolutely could be worth it for instance we could catch a, a bit of a move upwards now this is one thing that i spoke about with bbig very early on where we we're at five dollars we hit five dollars and we bounce off from there and there was definitely some profit to be made the question is are we going to see the same thing with ater well, nobody knows for sure, but realistically, once tomorrow's data is in, once the numbers come in, I think we'll have a more inclusive picture and a bit of a better idea as to what is going on with the stock. But I think right now, it's a good early indication, it's a good early sign, and again, get this to continue into tomorrow, I'll be very, very happy. Thank you for watching, I'll see you all again tomorrow, guys. Goodbye. So thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord.
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon